All right, Husker fans, as you know, Nebraska has been big time in the transfer portal market for a quarterback, and it's looking more and more likely that Kyle McCord could very well be their guy. The Ohio State transfer was the starter this past year for the Buckeyes, led them to an 11-1 record with their only loss being to Michigan, who's the number one seed in the college football playoff. Um, unexpectedly, he's in the, um, in the portal, and the, really the only team that's connected with him is the Huskers, and it looks like um, he's going to be on campus this week or has already been on campus by the time you've had a chance to watch this. And so what I wanted to do is kind of give you a feel for what Kyle McCord is like as a quarterback. And I'm not going to just show you clips and highlights and and call it good. I want to actually break him down as a prospect um, and look at the nuances in his game because he's not as flashy as maybe a Cam Ward um, or a Will Howard, but I think he might be the perfect guy for Nebraska. So, Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the tape. One of the things that I noticed when I first watched Kyle McCord as a quarterback is just his ability to make easy throws. He doesn't have to put a lot of effort behind him. He's able to just distribute the ball, run the offense, go where the ball is supposed to go. And a lot of times it's not very sexy. It's not very um, exciting. But as we've seen with Nebraska quarterbacks over the last several years, sometimes, and especially this past year, the simplest, easiest completions were not always that way. And with Kyle McCord, simple simple routes, hooks, crossers, in-breaking routes, he's able to just move the ball and distribute. And, yes, Ohio State had a lot of weapons. We're seeing – Marvin Harrison Jr. score a touchdown. Uh, their tight end is is going to be a, a potentially a top 50 pick in the NFL draft. They've had other guys. He's just able to just get the ball where they need it. And Nebraska's got weapons, um, young weapons, but they've got weapons. And they just sometimes, you know, we need a guy that can run the true offense that Marcus Satterfield wants to run. And from what I've seen with Satterfield from South Carolina – And then what we see here with Kyle McCord, he just has that ability to run an offense, run it what it's supposed to be, and distribute the ball to the playmakers. Now, now I said that he's able to make the easy throws, and, and, and that is true, and we just saw plenty of clips of those. But McCord's also able to make plays as a quarterback, too. Uh, here against Penn State, he's able to hit his tight end. Uh, tight end's up here um, at the top of the, the formation. And he's just going to run a seam route. And McCord's able to just put this ball up in a spot for him to go make that catch. Um, and, and it goes to the tight end to be able to make that play. But McCord sees the, the matchup that he likes, shows some anticipation. I mean, this ball is out as the tight end is just getting past that linebacker. And he's able to put that ball up for him to go make that play. I can honestly see this being a situation like Thomas Fedoni. Thomas Fedoni showed a lot of playmaking abilities at times. And I could see him running seam routes like this and McCord putting it up there and having him go get that ball. Another example of that is is this play right here. Um, ball's going to go to this receiver right here in the middle of the field. And he's going to be kind of running a little bit of a crossing type route. Um, and McCord's just able to fit this ball. He knows that that's his, his, his route. That's his target. He sees that he's got enough opening. And he's able to put this ball in a spot for his receiver to go make the catch and get the first down. So not only is he able to just make those easy throws, he's able to drive the ball, put it on a line, and put it in a tough spot where only his receiver is going to get it to help move the chains. I mean, this is a big-time throw with a defender draped on the receiver's back. Here on this clip, what we see is McCord taking a shot down the right sideline. 
And these are one of those plays that, that I like because it shows his ability to be aggressive. He wasn't aggressive on a regular basis, but when called for, he's able to, to push that ball down the field, puts it up towards the sideline where his receiver can go make the play. And it's plays like this I'd love for Nebraska to continue to use with guys, especially a guy like Malachi Coleman, uh, who could come in. He's got that six foot five, that that deep speed, put the ball up so he can run down the field and and turn back and adjust to. And as we see here, McCord knew he was going there, let that fly. And what I also like is you didn't you didn't quite see it, but look at McCord's head. He's dropping back. He's staring down this receiver, getting this guy to freeze. And now he's late coming over to that ball. He was never going to be in a position to go make a play there, but it just shows McCord using his eyes to manipulate the defenders. And then this clip right here of a touchdown pass, McCord's just able to put this ball in the perfect spot hitting his receiver coming open in the back of the end zone, you know, getting the attention to the inside right here. He sees his receiver coming open right there. He's able to put that ball in the perfect spot for him to be able to make that catch, get his feet down, get his knee down, um, and come away with a touchdown. While I showed you his ability to to, to make easy throws and, and, and to make some of the more difficult uh aggressive type throws one thing that really stands out is is McCord's ability to throw with the anticipation to get that ball out here we see this out route from the slot receiver right down here and that ball comes out as the receiver is making his break so as he's coming out the ball's already coming to him and able to make what should have been a catch and we see it here on a little hook route the ball is starting to come out as this top receiver up here is sitting down, the tight end in that. And we see clip after clip of the ball just coming out, like right here. Here's a great example of it against Notre Dame. Hey, this ball starts to come out. He's starting to make his throw before that receiver is coming open, and he's able to then fit it into that tight window. If, if McCord doesn't make this throw when he does – that linebacker is coming over. I mean, look at where how close that situation is. His ability to see that anticipation and make these throws kind of helps his receivers get open. And that's something we didn't see a lot of through Nebraska's quarterbacks these last couple of years is that ability to throw with good anticipation. This one I absolutely love. He's going to throw that slot receiver the ball's coming out as he's sitting down on his break three, between basically three defenders and for an easy first down. I love that he's able to throw with this anticipation and, and just get the ball to his receivers um, in the proper spot to help them get that separation. Um, and We saw it a little bit with Casey Thompson. We haven't seen it a lot since and, and for a while here at Nebraska. Now, one thing I do want to talk about, and and it's gotten brought up, I've seen it out there, is with McCord, he's not a mobile quarterback. He he's a in the pocket type guy, and and a lot of people want the mobile guy. I get it. You want that dual threat, but I I don't think that's something we can knock McCord for. I mean, if you look at what Satterfield did at South Carolina, he had a a in the pocket quarterback. You know, Nebraska recruited Dan, Danny Kaline, who's more of a pocket passer. That's kind of what Nebraska's moving to. Now, that doesn't mean that McCord is a statue back there. Um, and here's a prime example of that. Against Notre Dame, hey, the pocket's starting to collapse. He wants to step up and make a throw, but his, his right tackle over here is getting pushed back. And so as he goes to make this throw, he senses, he sees that, hey, this defender's coming. He's able to put it down and see that he's got some open space and able to get up there and get that extra yardage. So he's not going to – he's not Adrian or Taylor Martinez where he's going to scramble around and, and get all this extra yardage, but he does show that ability that, hey, he can move within the pocket. You know, he's climbing up in the pocket. He, you know, he can scramble if needed, and he doesn't need to pick up huge chunks of yards. That's great, 
but just to be able to pick up some extra yards, not take a sack here, end up picking up maybe four or five yards here, and just keep the drive alive. You know, there is so much to like about Kyle McCord as a transfer quarterback for Nebraska. I mean, I think the biggest thing is he's he's a guy that can operate an offense, and I think this allows Satterfield to kind of maybe run the full offense that he kind of ran at South Carolina, and we saw them explode against Clemson and, and Tennessee. And with the quarterbacks that Nebraska's had the last couple – this past year, uh, Harburg, uh, Purdy, and, and Sims, I don't feel like they were able to run that full offense. And McCord is going to be able to do that. He's going to be able to go through progressions. He's going to be able to manipulate the defense with his eyes. And more importantly, he's able to distribute the ball to our weapons. Nebraska has weapons. we got Malachi Coleman. They've got Jalen Lloyd, Thomas Fedoni. You know, maybe they get another transfer quarterback. Maybe Kyle McC- uh, Julian Fleming, Kyle McCord's team at, at Ohio State. I mean, Nebraska's got recruits coming in, too. And they've got some weapons. They may be young. They've got some weapons. And I think McCord would give them that quarterback that could move this offense to where it needs to go. And you look at getting Kyle McCord – with an approved offensive line, with some young receivers that are going to take a big step, and a defense that's going to get even better next year, what can this team do? I mean, you just look at McCord. He's a guy that's got a 4-to-1 touchdown-to-interception ratio. If he can just come in, give us a competent offense that doesn't turn the ball over, I mean, we're looking at a team that could win eight, nine games easily. I mean, they could, we could be a souped-up version of Iowa. And I think McCord can give Nebraska that offensive weapon. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like it. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell for all your notifications. Make sure you follow me on social media at draft underscore Brian. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time.